Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how to generate the output for a Pearson chi-square goodness of fit test using SPSS. It will focus mainly on how to generate the output, not so much on how to interpret that output. For that please check out my companion website, which is in the uh, description below, also free of charge. Um, the Pearson chi-square goodness of fit test can be used to test if the percentages across the different categories of a one variable are the same. So, for example, here we have five categories. The 0 and the 8 and the 9 are missing values, so they don't count. And if everything would be equally distributed, we would have expected 20% for each of these. Um, and the chi-square goodness of fit test can actually check if that's the case, perhaps, in the population. You can also use it if, for example, you know that in the population 80% uh, should be married. Then you can actually check if in your sample this deviates too much or not, so that you have a good sample or a non-representable sample. To perform the test, go for Analyze, Non-Parametric Test, and then One Sample. Hit Reset, just in case. Go for Fields. You might notice that all fields are in the test field, which is a bit too much. So click on one and control A and move them to the left. And then select the variable or variables that you want to test. You can do multiple in one go. Click for on settings, click on customize test, and then compare observed probabilities to hypothesized chi-square test. Under options, you'll see that the default is to have all categories equal probability. So in this case, that would mean it will test for each 20% or not. Like I said, if you know that, for example, the popula uh, in the population, the married percentage should be 80%, you can actually select the customize expected probabilities and fill in what you expect in here. Click on OK, click on Run, and you should get your output. The default shows the decision uh, which is based on a 0 0.05 significance level, in this case to reject it, the null hypothesis, because the significance is 0 0.000. Uh, so it's below 0 0.005. This means that the percentages are not equal. If you double click, you actually get the model viewer with some more details. If you have selected multiple variables, you can click on each of them and then you will see the individual detailed results to the right. Uh, it shows the total n, uh, so the number of people actually answered this survey question, the chi-square value, the degrees of freedom, and again the significance. It also shows the, that there are zero cells, zero percent, with expected value less than five, and a minimum expected value of 388.2. There are some authors that have some criteria for these, some say zero percent, uh, some say that this has to be uh, at most 20%, some even at most 25%, uh, and some say that this has to be at least one, and there are some mixtures among those authors, so check which one the is the one you should be following. Okay, uh, that's actually it. Uh, like I said, if you want to see more on how to interpret and write up these results, check out the companion website, but this was just about how to generate the output using SPSS.